Welcome back to our channel, the channel for the latest news and stories about the Princess of Wales, Princess Catherine, and her royal family. Today, we bring you breaking news. Princess Catherine attends a conference with childhood education specialists at Windsor Castle while dressed in Alexander McQueen. Eight experts accompanied the Princess of Wales and gave her advice on the operations of the Royal Foundation Centre for Young Childhood. Today at Windsor Castle, a meeting with various experts earlier today to address the younger days, a cause close to Princess Catherine's heart, she appeared prepared to work. The Princess of Wales chose her go-to Black Alexander McQueen jacket for the discussion, which she wore with a white shirt and black pants. She wore hefty pearl drop jewellery by Shyla London to enhance her chic look. Catherine looked perfect for the situation. She put on a coat with elegant lapels, pointed shin pads and a golden button. The Princess of Wales completed her ensemble with a white shirt that was crisscrossed as well as slipped over her pants, as well as a couple of dangling pearl and gold jewellery. Her hair was split down the middle and styled as customary with thick curls. Even though her footwear wasn't captured in the photos, it's probable that the stylish member of the royal family strolled out in sharp heels and a vibrant hue. Princess Catherine frequently appears in protruding heels from brands such as Stuart Weitzman, Jimmy Choo, as well as Emmy London. The 105 heels from Jamvito Rossi are her ready look. The princess alternates between wearing high heels from either the royal family and casual shoes from New Balance, Adidas, Superdry, as well as Zara. Similarly attired in a crimson jacket, Catherine greeted the England Disability Rugby League team to something like a banquet at Hampton Court House. The outerwear had elegant shirt collars, pointed sleeveless jerseys, as well as a golden pin. The high-profile person wore flare-legged pants at the bottom. Middleton finished off the look with a straightforward white shirt, as well as a delicate golden cuff bracelet. When something went to her footwear, Catherine chose a couple of burgundy heels. The design was a small high heel, as well as a triangular pointed toe. Among the most adaptable and classic shoe styles in her sharp heel. Eight specialists from education, research and the early childhood field attended Catherine at this occasion. Catherine has selected them to assist her on the activities of the Royal Foundation Center for Young Life. She gathered alongside them for the very first time under her advisory group during this meeting. The organization, which has experts in post, natal psychology, behavioral science, cognitive science, and policy analysis, might very well encourage the Princess of Wales even though research is sped up to publicize the fundamental significance of the initial five years of the kids' development, per the representatives of Kensington Palace. In announcement of the event that took place today at Windsor Castle, Amanda Berry, Chief Executive of the Royal Foundation, stated that collaborating alongside such a distinguished group of individuals is a true honor while we continue to spread understanding about and take appropriate action about the transforming influence of such early years. I believe that the Princess and the entire Centre for Childhood Development staff really respect their advice and expertise. I anticipate the opportunity to collaborate effectively in order to make an impact for coming generations, she stated. The advisory groups help in our critical fields of research, cooperation and awareness is raising awareness to be crucial. The purpose of the advisory group was to oversee the operations of the Princess of Wales' Royal Foundation Centre for Young Life and to make possible suggestions to her. 
Some of the professionals Kate consulted with are folks that she has already collaborated with. For instance, the Princess of Wales' long-time collaborator, Professor Michael Fonagy, the director of the Anna Freud National Centre for Children and Families, was welcomed by the monarch to this event. Catherine has consulted Eamon McCrory, a lecturer of prenatal neurobiology and psychology at the University College London, on multiple occasions ever since she learned well about the significance of infant brain growth. She also welcomed Ed Vainka, OBE, founder of the REACH Academy, aims to prepare students. Kerry Oppenheim, project coordinator now at Nuffield Framework, Imran Hussain, policy manager as well as protest movement for child protective services, as well as Beverly Barnett Jones, MBE, executive professor now at Nuffield Groundwork, Dr. Alan Gregoire, a consulting firm neonatal professor at psychiatry, as well as the head of state and founding member of the Women's Health and Behavioral Health Alliance, was also welcomed. So, thank you for seeing our video today. Also, don't forget to share your opinions on the news with us. What do you think about her project? And for now, I'll say goodbye.